the Arizona Diamondbacks have struck a deal to acquire a closing pitcher in Paul Sewald from the Seattle Mariners for three players, including infielder Josh Rojas, infield prospect Ryan Bliss, and outfielder Dominic Canzone. Before we get started, y'all know the drill. Hit that like button, subscribe. Tons of trade deadline content coming out for you guys. You won't want to miss it. Alrighty, Paul Sewald this year just got two saves against the Diamondbacks this weekend and has now been traded to Arizona. He still has one year of control after this season as well. He'll be a free agent after next season. He was drafted by my favorite team, the New York Mets. He has a 2.93 ERA in 45 games, 21 saves, 43 innings pitched, 60 strikeouts, and a 1.023 whip. For his career, he has a 409 ERA in 319 innings pitched, 387 strikeouts, and a 1.129 whip. Most of those games and that ERA inflation is from a bunch of bad years with the Mets. And really, ever since leaving the Mets and signing with Seattle in 2021, he's been fantastic. He had a 306 ERA in 2021 in 64 innings, 267 ERA in 64 innings in 2022, and then a 293 ERA this season. The Mariners are selling high on Paul Sewald and they get quite a return. First up, we have Josh Rojas, who's going to be with this team through the 2026 season. He's 29 years old, the season 228 average, with zero home runs and a 589 OPS. For his career, 252 average, 22 bombs, and he's played in the big leagues. His most playing time was the last two seasons, 2021-2022, where he hit 264 and 269 with 11 and 9 home runs. He plays third base, second base, and can play the outfield and is going to just overall be a utility bat in that lineup. The Diamondbacks are also sending over Dominic Kinzone, who's 25 years old, slated to hit the big leagues. His scouting grades are a 50 hit, 55 power, 40 run, 45 arm, 40 field for an overall of 40. He's a number 19 ranked prospect in the organization, and this season with AAA, he's hitting 354 with 16 home runs. He's uh, struck out 40 times, walked 39, so a good strikeout to walk ratio, almost 1 to 1, and has a 1.065 OPS. Last season with three teams, he had 299 with 22 bombs and a 908 OPS, so Canzone is a very solid outfielder. He's played in the big leagues this season, 237 average, with one home run in 15 games. Uh, he, he'll, he'll probably end up replacing Teoscar Hernandez, who's now likely out the door as well. Diamondbacks also send over infield prospect Ryan Bliss. Yeah, he's 23 years old, um, 5'6 at 165. He's very small. His scouting grades are 45 hit, 40 power, 55 run, 45 arm, 55 field, and overall 40. Between double A AA and triple A, he's hitting 332. Most of his success, however, has been at double A, where he hit 358 with surprisingly 12 home runs at 5.6. He is small and hits a bunch of home runs, 1.008 OPS in uh, AA, and in 13 games in AAA, he struggled batting 196 with one home run and stole 30 bases in 68 games in AA. So overall for the Diamondbacks, you guys needed to go out there and bolster your roster. You needed to go get a another couple pitchers probably and have any shot you guys have been falling a lot been on a skid and going out and getting paul seawald is going to help that bullpen which has blown quite a few games the diamondbacks absolutely needed this pitcher so and hopefully help them stop blowing games late and to me i don't think they gave up a whole lot for seawald who has another year of control i really like this for the diamondbacks Joe Doily, who covers the Mariners a lot and just prospects, says oh, it's the seller's market and really like the haul. It's probably not a bad move for either team, but I really, really like this a lot for the Diamondbacks. I think with your outfield, McCarthy, you guys got Carroll, you got a bunch of other guys out there, Paven Smith. I don't even know if he's played this season. I'm missing like three guys. I know it. And Josh Rojas really also wasn't playing a whole lot with Gerardo Perdomo being a stud this season. So I really like this for the Diamondbacks. You guys are getting an A, and I probably would have expected a little bit more in terms of prospects and not like a Josh Rojas if I was the Mariners. For the Mariners, you guys are getting to get a B grade on this. Overall, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. As always, hit that like and subscribe. Come back for more videos, and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.